trust versus performance. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Today I have a, I had a quick uh, little snippet of video from Simon Sinek. Uh, if you haven't seen Simon Sinek, he's known for uh, a lot of things, but one of his top books was uh, Start With Why. Excellent book. I've discussed it other times on here. Uh, definitely one to go out and look at. Um, I was sent this little snippet of video of Simon Sinek giving a talk uh, regarding this concept of trust versus performance. And this was uh, sent to me by my friend David Medina. Thank you, David. And uh, I wanted to show you, kind of give you a synopsis of it. I've got a link in the description if you want to go check out that video. But the idea, and he got this from working with, uh, with the Navy SEALs, and they said that it, it, it's an interesting dichotomy, this idea of you've got people that you can rate on, tr on performance and you've got people you can rate on trust, but trust is not one of those things that people pay close enough attention to. And, and here's what they're saying. Obviously, it, if you've got someone that's of low trust and low performance, that's not someone you're after, right? But if you've got someone of high trust and high performance, well, that's, that's the ideal, that's the unicorn. But in reality, that's kind of tough to find. So if you had to choose one over the other, which would it be? So if you had a high uh, performer, uh, but was, uh, let me see here, high performer that was uh, low on trust, which I believe would put us here. Uh, no, wait a second, high, high performer, uh, low on trust, yeah. Here, uh, they were saying this is a toxic personality that they're that they're going to destroy your team, everything else, because that they're really good at what they're doing. But if you can't trust them, then you're really in trouble, <laughs> because they do a good job, but there's something something not right character wise. Uh, whereas, if you've got a high trust personality, that is a low performer, that is more ideal. Uh, it, it, it's a better situation because if you trust them, you can at least you can still train them. You can get the you bring performance up, but you can't train for character. You can't train for trust, and and so you they'll they'll look for more medium performance versus high performance if the trust factor is higher. Now, how do you rate that? How do you rate trust? Well, it's a difficult thing, and nobody ever talks about it. And so we talk about it on here a lot is how important trust is to the to every relationship not just the uh, employer employee relationship but in terms of a consumer to a product or service trust is one of the main things and it's one of those areas that most people don't pay enough attention to um, uh, dan kennedy has a book uh, the uh, no bs guide to uh, what is it no bs guide to trust-based marketing this was one of the first times I had heard someone specifically uh, talk about trust. He wrote this with uh, Matt, Matt Zagula. Um, excellent book because it, it starts to unpack some of those ideas of uh, trust and what does trust really mean. It means something a little bit different to everybody. It's a little bit subjective. But there is something there that uh, if you don't trust, it, it, it's... It goes back to that whole saying of, you know, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. There's the word again, but the word means something. It's There's something deeper. There's something, there's a dependability, integrity uh, built into it. And that goes a long way. With it, it's tough to beat. Without it, it's... Um, you're not dealing with a stable situation, whether you're on the receiving end or the giving end on the trust spectrum. So it's something to keep an eye on, especially if you're dealing with, so I'm a business investor, uh, I'm, it oftentimes has more to do with the partnership and the person that I'm dealing with than the business itself. Because the business itself could be relatively mediocre, but if I've got a solid relationship, if I can trust the other person to uh, take my opinions into, in, or, or not even just opinions, but able to test some of the ideas that I bring to the table and so forth, 
that can go a long way. We can build a business business performance up if I trust the other person, if I've got that trust, and if they trust me. That's got to be there also. And I, if I could tell I trust them, but they don't trust me, that's a tough thing. To, that's a tough gap to fill in. So it's one of those things that no matter what the relationship is, business is just a way we talk about these relationships. But it's the third. It, it's one of the three pillars of BrianJPombo.com as being relationship reliant. And what it, it, relationships are completely built on is trust. That is the gold standard to all relationships, and you can't do anything without solid relationships. So hopefully that makes sense, give you something to chew on. Go check out Simon Sinek and all of his his work. It's good stuff. Uh, and you can go check out my video, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. You can get a free copy at amazonproofbook.com. That's all I got for tonight. You have a good one. Get out there and let the magic happen.